Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thomas, I'm from Lumitrix and today I'm going to show you how to set up the basic video mapping scene using Lumitrix T2, automatic remote controlled projection system for permanent outdoor use. What we've got here is Lumitrix T2 attached to the column by this special mount. The mount is standard accessory of the projector and you can see more about this mount in dedicated video tutorial. Well, we've got the projector on and in manual mode. So we can switch the grid on and we can see that the projector is not properly aimed. So we can turn it on the mount to aim it uh, horizontally and then using this screw we can turn it vertically. We can see that we need to zoom, in, zoom it a little bit in what we do with the front panel buttons. And again, we can just aim the projector correctly to enlight the whole structure. Now, when the projector is aimed and zoomed, we can just focus it a bit more to get a sharp image. And here we go. After we aimed the projector, so we uh, covered all the desired projection area, zoomed it and focused it, we must tie the bolts to ensure that the projector won't move horizontally or vertically. So we must tie these four bolts on the sides to secure it against the horizontal movement. The same from the other side. And we got another two bolts here and on the other side to secure it against the vertical movement. And also we need to uh, secure these two nuts to protect the projector against the vertical movement. The securing of the bolts is very necessary because when, when we do the scan we really don't want the projector to move in any direction to fit the scene. Now we have to switch the grid off and we can run the scan process, but before we need to switch off the lights. The scan process consists of two parts. First, scanning itself. The projector is actually projecting a mount of white stripes and takes number of pictures by inbuilt camera. In real conditions, especially outdoors, we have to run the scanning process at night. The darker the environment is, the better. And it is also necessary that no people, vehicles or animals, simply no objects are moving within the light cone of the projector. Well, the scanning itself is complete. The next step, scan download and its calculation is described very detailed in another dedicated tutorial. So for now, I will just switch the projector to automatic mode and leave it as it is. Don't care about lamp, the lamp goes off after a few minutes. And we really need to keep the projector on because it needs to ventilate itself and if it's on we can access it remotely and control it with our tablets or computers. Okay, so we did the scan process. We passed the scan result to the video production team and they made the video content based on this scan result. The video is now uploaded to the projector so I can just put a play button to see if the video really fits the geometry of the building. As we can see, the video fits perfectly the geometry of the building, which is thanks to the scan process. Now I can just switch it off, switch the projector to automatic mode, so we can access it remotely, and we can schedule the video to play in desired date and time. See more about scheduler in dedicated tutorial. Okay guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe our channel, and I wish you good luck with your future video mapping projects.